Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. How do you all feel about just having kind of a fun video today? Just an unboxing of some Korean beauty products that I bought off the Style Korean website. I acknowledge first and foremost that unboxings are not necessarily helpful content, at least, you know, if you're trying to find the skincare products that will work for you, this is probably not the best video to watch. But at the same time, I do feel like unboxings sprinkled into a channel, they can be pretty fun, right? And also, honestly, honestly, I feel like unboxings can be helpful if you have that urge to shop, but also kind of really know you shouldn't. Is it just me? I don't think it's just me. Truthfully, sometimes, you know, I'm not a rich person. When I get the craving to buy stuff, but I know I shouldn't, I like to watch unboxings. I like the, the sounds. Oh God, does that mean I like ASMR? I don't know enough about ASMR to know if there is a, a box opening ASMR. No, there has to be, there has to be. Today's video is an unboxing of my purchase from Style Korean. I talked about this company in my Korean beauty retailers comparison. Uh, so I want to reiterate one thing and also add something to that and then I, I promise we'll open this box. So if you are in the US or Canada, you do not get free shipping until you spend $80 on this website and it is $20 otherwise. As somebody who is extremely good at hitting the free shipping minimum, this was a $79 order. I used some of my points that I had to bring the price down. I'm, I'm really good at it. If the shipping minimum was $67, I would make a $67.26 order. I'm, I'm just extremely skilled at this. But for you Canadians, I have seen a lot of people say that when they make a style Korean order, they also get hit with customs. If you're in the US, we are probably not going to get hit with that. We're not supposed to pay customs until about an $800 order. But yeah, Canadians, you might actually not want to order from style Korean. I, I hate to tell you this, I'm just telling you this because I've seen a a lot of people say they paid a lot in customs and I, I try my hardest to be helpful to share what I've read elsewhere to share what you all have said in the comments so just as a heads up if you're Canadian and you do buy from style Korean let us know how that goes for you in the comment section below and with that let's go ahead and open this box look at this sad knife look at that it's so tragic this you know it, it was uh, demoted from a kitchen knife a long time ago, but what on earth has happened to it? What is, <laughs> it's so sad. I feel very bad for this knife. Don't worry, little knife. You still serve a purpose in helping us open this box today as awkwardly as possible. Look how awkward I am. I don't know, aren't I awkward? There we go. This is a pretty crammed box. I love how Style Korean packages things. They are really careful in the way they package things. Okay, so. <laughs> I don't know what's in here entirely. I know that there are eye gels. If you watched my copper peptide routine, that shouldn't surprise you. That is the sole reason I made this order, but then I had to pad it to hit that $80 minimum. So let's see what I got. Oh yeah, I did buy a bunch of minis. So at the time I made this order, Style Korean was running a uh, travel friendly promo. So I bought the Tony Moly Mini Cherry Lip Balm. Oh my goodness, this looks so adorable. Let's see what it's, ah, it's so cute. How stinking cute is this? It is so cute. This was around $5. Look at this, it's, oh, it's so cute. Let's see how it smells. Tony Moly never fails me in the smells department. Oh, and once again, they didn't. Oh, it smells so good. We had to have a cherry back here to go with our peach, right? It, it was just fair. It was absolutely fair. I'll try it at some point, I promise. It's behind me now, I'll try it. And then this was a dollar, a mini of the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask EX. So why not? This is 15 milliliters. That's a half ounce size. That's an amazing size to try a product. I bought the Marion May Hyaluronic Serum. I am curious to see if they have disclosed the... Oh, they haven't. I hope they might disclose the parts per million of their uh, hyaluronic acid, you know, the different weights of the hyaluronic acid in here. Super simple formula. This one is fragrance free. Let's see what it looks like. Huh, I wonder why they packaged it in a brown bottle. I'm not, I'm not sure why they did that, actually. I'm not gonna open this particular product just yet because I have a lot of open products, so we'll set that one aside also. And then this is the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. I bought the mini size of this one. I'm gonna put this in an upcoming giveaway. I'm trying to start planning one out now. I talk about, I've talked about this product a lot. I've talked about it a lot. What size is the mini here? 10 grams, 0.35 ounces. That'll last a long time. 
From Mediheal, I bought the Therafin hand mask and the Paraffin foot mask. These were $1.50, something like that. They look so cute. They're uh, the little plastic, you know, glove and booty style, all printed with bears, I guess. That's really cute. Just kind of something fun to do there. And then I bought one, two, three of these et etude, it's etude, right? AC cleanup spot patches. These are a lot smaller than I thought they would be. <laughs> Um, in all fairness, it did say you get 12 patches in these, but this is what I used to pad my order to hit the free shipping minimum. These were a dollar or so each, and I, I figured I have acne. I can never have too many acne patches. If you can have too many acne patches, you are in a, a very good position in life, let me tell you. This was a Pune Kong Yule set right here. Oh, it's actually packaged really cute. So this contains the toner mist which i've been wanting to try for a while this is the 3.4 fluid ounce size this whole kit i don't remember the exact price but i'll put it up on the screen it was an incredible deal i mean i love the regular toner so much they do typically say that the mist is more for oily skin but i i think it can be for any skin type i think it can just be based on preference so i'm gonna try it out and report back and then you get Quite a few samples in here of the eye cream and the little uh, foils here. What's next? Let's see what we got in here. This looks like bigger. Oh, this must be my eye gels. Okay, so I bought the Farmstay Collagen Waterful Hydrogel Eye Patch. With how much I talk about their eye serum, I figured I gotta try the hydrogel eye patches. Phytoplacenta extract, that is very interesting. <laughs> Algae extract. Um, I'm not sure why there's tea tree leaf water and eucalypt eucalyptus extract in here, but hmm, around your eyes, eh, I guess if it's a, a very weak extract or water, it could be fine. I'll, I'll report back. And then the Pyongyang Yule Black Tea Time Reverse Eye Patch. I want to open this. I got to see if this is as pretty as the toner. Oh my gosh, I still haven't hauled the toner for you all. I talked about it on my Instagram. It is beautiful packaging, and I guess so is this. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. Pyongyang Yule almost feels at this point like uh, they have several different brands under their brand. I mean, that mist toner I just showed you is such a simple formula. This is a lot more complicated, and the packaging is uh, stunning. It's really perplexing, actually. I don't know how there can be so many differences within the same brand. Do you know what I'm, do you know what I mean? Oh, this box goes on and on. Let's see what's up next here. Oh, oh, that's right. I was very curious about this one. So I bought something from Innisfree. I don't actually, I haven't tried that much from Innisfree. I did try their green tea line and I personally didn't love it. I felt like it was a little overhyped. But this got me, the Blueberry Rebalancing Cleansing Water. Y'all know I love, y'all know I love that fresh cleansing water. I thought, well, maybe this could be nice. This one is not sold at Sephora, and the entire package here is all in Korean, so I can't tell you uh, from memory about the ingredients list, but I was very curious, very, very interested in trying this one. Oh, I'm so interested in this. This is the Mary and May Sika Soothing Sun Cream. SPF 50, PA++++, F Sika Complex, 10,000 parts per million. So I could not figure out if this is a um, mineral or chemical sunscreen. I couldn't figure it out. Let me look at this. It is not mineral. It is chemical, but, oh my goodness, I'm so happy to tell you, I can definitely use this. I can use all of the filters in here. Um, I have a video on Mary and May. That's a lot of why I went and bought more products from them. I do actually really like the brand. Uh, I have no idea who made this. It just says Aid Korea Company, but that's who distributed it. I will share more about this one in What's New in Skincare, so stay tuned for that. I'm pretty sure I bought something else that was new from Mary and May also. Let's open this one next. So I bought the Rose Hyaluronic Hydra Wash Off Pack from Mary and May. Let's, let's crack into this one right now. I really want to see what this one looks like. So they introduced these wash off masks after I filmed my review of the brand. Whoa, I wasn't expecting such a beautiful jar. This is glass. Look at the uh, embossing here on this lid, which is probably aluminum. Fantastic. That is far more eco-friendly. Okay, so I know I have a weak nose and all, but 
I don't mind the smell of this. It's probably funny that I bought a rose product when I keep saying I don't like the smell of rose, but I don't know, I had some hope that it wouldn't be too strong. It's really not, it actually, that actually smells kind of good. It smells kind of good. So it is a clay-based mask. It does have some fragrance, but it must be very light in here. And of course, rose. So they're saying that this is basically a hydrating, a moisturizing mask. I'm hoping, and the reason I ended up buying this, I'm hoping that it can be kind of a dupe for the fresh mask. My shirt was trying to eat my microphone and I can't refilm this. You can only get authentic uh, portrayals of an unboxing once, you know, you know? So the Hamish Matcha Biome Hydrogel Eye Patch. I could not find any information about this. I could not find anything about this, but I went for it anyway, because I like Hamish. <laughs> smells like tea, actually. They're green. Okay, why haven't I heard anyone talk about these? Is there something in the formula that people don't like? It's so funny because I saw that pink one all over Instagram. I've never seen anyone talk about this. And then another Hamish Marine Care Eye Cream. I don't need this, so I'm gonna put this in a giveaway also but uh, it's incredible. It's such a good eye cream. We are down to the last of inside of my style Korean order. Let's see what I got here. This looks like it's a kit. Oh, right, that's right. Relief for your skin travel mini kit by that brand right there. <laughs> We're not doing this again with the, I don't remember how to pronounce it. Okay. This is a cute little set. So I got the natural repair serum, which I was really curious about. There's something about the ingredients on this one that had my interest. I think if I remember correctly, I think this one is high in ginseng. I think so. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. I can't read this because it too is in Korean. We have the pH Hyaluron gel cleanser and then two sheet masks in this kit. Active Red Flower and the Relief Blue Flower. I know some people really like this brand because they're a fully vegan and cruelty-free brand. And I don't want to say that's less common in Korea, but I feel like it, it's not necessarily as much a focus when people are talking about Korean beauty products. Probably because ingredients like snail mucin are so popular in K-beauty, right? So that, that, that does make sense. And that's it. I hope you all enjoyed watching this little unboxing today. Let me know what you think of what I ordered. Are you excited? What are you most excited to see me review? Do let me know, of course, what you want to see reviewed because this is just an unboxing, but let me know. I will link Style Korean in the description box below. If you are interested in checking out their website, make sure you subscribe to emails. They send out by email some of their best deals. And that's it for today's video. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video, and I will see you all next time.